everyone, it's Beverly Nina. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am so happy that you're here. If this is your first time on my channel, hey, I hope that you stick around to the very end and I hope that you click that subscribe button and hit the bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. So today's video is going to be about hearing the voice of God and how do I know when God is actually telling me to move in on something. I realized that I talk a lot about going after your goals and going after the things that is that God is telling you to go after, moving into the land when God tells you to move into the land. And I realized that I don't necessarily talk about how to actually know what it is that God is wanting you to move in on or what God is telling you. And I realized this when I received a question and I'm so happy that I was able to read this question because it helps me to be able to go and dive deeper into the word. So that's what I did. I did a little diving, a little bit of digging. So I would like to just take the time to talk about what I've learned and some of the things that I'm currently learning. If you watch this video and there's something else that I didn't say that will help me and help somebody else out, please, by all means, put that in the comment section. Let's grow together in our walk with Christ. This channel isn't just something where I'm you know, pouring into y'all. I want for y'all to pour into me because I definitely need a lot of work. I need a lot of help. Okay, so the first time I heard about hearing the voice of God, I was scared. My older sister, she um, came back home one time from school and she was just like, y'all, God spoke to me. I'm gonna tell you about this dream that God gave me. I was scared. I said, mm -mm, let's not talk about this. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. And that's because I didn't really understand. And if you don't really understand, it can sound a little bit scary because you're like, okay, how? hearing voices, what? I remember in my mind, like I told myself, I don't want to experience that because I was freaked out. Throughout our lives, God speaks to us, but a lot of times we don't know it because we don't recognize his voice. Throughout my life, I never really recognized the voice of God. I would have those inklings. I felt like something was telling me to do this or something, something, something. 2015, I remember vividly, um, I was getting out of a really bad breakup and I was super depressed and I remember being in my dorm room in the living room and I played worship music. The song I Surrender by Hillsong came on and I fell to my knees and I just surrendered my whole life to God and that night was when I experienced the Lord and I experienced hearing God's voice and hearing him tell me that it was going to be okay and that he was happy that I was giving him my life. God is responsive. He will respond to your prayers. He will respond to your thoughts. He will respond to your actions. Like God is always speaking. And because he's responsive, we should be expectant to hear God's voice. I just want to, for a moment, to be open about this. There's a lot of times when I don't hear from God. or There's a lot of times when I... I'm like, God, are you, why aren't you talking to me? <laughs> like, I can't hear you. Like, are you speaking to me? There's a lot of times where I feel like I'm in, like, the wilderness, that I'm just dry, you know? Sometimes I have those dry seasons where I just feel like, where are you, God? Like, I don't hear from you. I'm not sure what what it is that you are desiring for me to do. So it's not all the time that I feel and hear the voice of God. Something that I did to help me to be able to hear God's voice was asking him to help me. <laughs> Literally in my prayers, I would ask God, I know that you are available to us and I know that you are responsive to us and you speak to us in so many ways and I want to hear you. I want to be able to experience your voice and experience the things it is that you're telling me to do because I want to be able to live my life according to your will and live my life in the righteousness that you desire for me to live in. That I can only get through your son Christ. Lay that foundation. You lay it down. After you pray, you just want to just take some time. Don't rush it. This is something I, I told my little sister too and something that my older sisters have taught me whenever I I was trying to experience the voice of God is just be patient that as you pray those prayers you want to have open ears and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit it's all about discerning the voice of God so how does discerning the voice of God look like how do I discern God's voice in order to be able to discern God's voice you have to know the nature and the character of God and the way to know God's character his nature is by reading his word the Bible says that in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. I believe that's how it goes. I think I actually wrote it down. Let me see. In John 1 verse 1 that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. When we get to know God's nature we understand how God speaks. We understand the gentle character that God has, the gentle voice that God has and that is super important in our walk because there will be so many times when the enemy will try to tell you something that 
God never said about you or that God never told you to do. And so when you get that foundation of God's will over our lives and what he says about our purpose, what he says about our lives, that we're a masterpiece, all of these things, then we're going to be able to counteract the thoughts it is that Satan may try to tell us about ourselves, about you know, our life. So how does God speak to us? So that there's many ways and I'm not going to put a limit to how God can speak to you. God can speak to you in so many ways. Some examples of how God has spoken to me in the past was through my dreams. God has given me visions. He's spoken to me through my sisters, through family members, through strangers, through people that I don't even know. YouTube videos of people just speaking the word. God has spoken to me through books. God has spoken to me through my circumstances. God has spoken to me in so many ways and has told me so many things and through so many different outlets. So I don't want for you to think that there's only one way that God can speak to you because there's multiple ways. Don't put a limit um, to the way that God can speak to you. I think the biggest thing for me was letting a stranger speak to me <laughs> because I'm like, I don't know you, but God can use anybody to speak to you, to get a message to you. Um, you know, but if you ever have a stranger come and speak to you, you know, always just go back and pray about whatever it is that person, even if it was your family member. So always go back and pray about that thing that that person told you and God will confirm to you that that was from him. So I have written here to uh, get comfortable with being fully vulnerable and intimate with God because as you talk with him, you'll begin to experience hearing his voice through many ways that he wants to reach you. So what it comes down to, hearing the voice of God over the things it is that God desires for you to move in on, you really have to be in a position where you are receiving from God. And that comes from being intimate with him. It's not simple, but it kind of is simple in a way. I feel like sometimes we complicate it because we don't know if it's our flesh speaking or we don't know if it's God. Part of the question was, how do I know if it's the right thing? How do I know if I'm doing the wrong thing? If this is a fun experience. This is fun, you know, experiencing God, hearing from God. And when he tells you to do something, you know, you be like, I don't know if this is what you want for me to do, God, but okay, I'm going to do it. Anyways, I'm going to have that faith. And then you do it. The outcome is beautiful. You have to have that faith. And if you took the wrong turn, it's going to be okay. Don't think it's the end of the world. It's going to be okay. God is going to redirect you. He is going to redeem you. He's going to figure out another way to get you to where he desires for you to be. Okay, so I hope that this video was helpful to you and I hope that it just makes you to not be too hard on yourself if you haven't heard the voice of God or if you haven't been able to discern his voice. Keep pursuing the Lord. He is going to speak to you, I promise you. His word says that um, he has brought the Holy Spirit um, down to be a helper. So ask the Holy Spirit for that help. Or tell the Holy Spirit that you want to be sensitive to him and when God is telling you to move. And I promise you, God is going to help you and the Holy Spirit is going to help you with that. I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, know that you are loved, beautiful, treasured, and you are valued. Adios.